everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft Dungeons video. Today we are back continuing our series of doing every single mainland level. Now I have two Minecraft Dungeon series currently ongoing which are the all DLCs and the every single mainland level. Now the Panda Plateau level, uh, the video of that level will be uh, released very soon uh, probably today or tomorrow uh, but until that is released we are just gonna be continuing on with our other main mainland level series last time we did two levels the creeper woods and the pumpkin pastures today we are gonna be doing soggy swamp and cacti canyon uh, we are on apocalypse plus and before we head into the game I'm just going to show you my gear because my gear has changed since the last time we played. Well, when I say my gear, I mean specifically my armor because I spent some time and look at this. I got a gilded variant of Renegade's armor. Uh, the armor I, which I was using before was also the Renegade's armor and this one has Rush 1 on it since it's gilded. I also put final shout and cooldown on it. So yeah, I've got some new armor uh, because I did some ancient hunts. So without further ado, let's begin with Soggy Swamp. Uh, let's quickly head on to Apocalypse Plus 15. Uh, now the gear drop. Now I love Soggy Swamp because of the gear drops. Because here are the gear drops that you can get here: the glaive, the double axe, the daggers, the soul knife, the hunting bow the scatter crossbow the evocation robe the mystery armor and as the artifacts we have the harvester the fishing rod the lightning rod the soul healer and the totem of regeneration now i already used the totem of regeneration and the unique variant of the scatter crossbow which is the harp crossbow is amazing the evocation robe and its unique va variants are great for speed running the soul knife is the truth seeker uh, the weapon is pretty good i used it for a while earlier and the double axe the unique variant of uh, the double axe which is the whirlwind axe is the weapon which i'm currently using also the venom glaive is the unique variant of the glaive and it is amazing i used it and it's great also the mystery armor if you get lucky it can be very good if you get like good enchants on it Anyways, let's read the story. A Perilous Potion The witches of Soggy Swamp have polluted the land with their wicked brews. We can't let their potions fall into the hands of the arch illager, who would uh, the arch illager, who would surely use that power for no good. Alright, we have to stop the witches of the Soggy Swamp from giving potions to the arch illager, who would obviously use them to harm villagers. So, let's go. Traveling to Soggy Swamp. A coven of wicked witches live at the heart of the sinister swamp. They conjure up all manner of brews to empower the arch illager and his ever-growing army. If you don't find and defeat those witches, the illagers will be unstoppable. But tread carefully. The swamp is home to many horrors. And that is me right there with my fox. I arrived here through a boat right there. So let's head on with the mission. Now, I really, really love the design of this le I fell. Anyways, as I was saying, I really really love the design of this level because Mojang should really make a uh, swamp update. Like, I know in 1.19, the wild update, they're already making like frogs and stuff, the swamps. Uh, they're already adding frogs, which is pretty cool. But like, imagine normal Minecraft swamps looking like this. That would be epic. That would just be extremely epic. I mean, imagine that. Like, Minecraft swamps looking like Minecraft dungeon swamps. With, uh, like, these mushrooms and this, like, rain and 
these reeds and like lily pads and flowers well swarms already do have lily pads but they don't have like those pink flowers uh, we have a strength potion which is pretty good since you know i can use a strength potion to defeat mobs really quickly since i do extra damage uh okay yeah there are a lot of baby zombies here which is surprising because this is a swamp i thought we would see a lot more witches not baby zombies i guess witches are pretty strong so like just spamming witches across the level would be pretty hard like it would make the level really hard and this is a pretty early game level so yeah it would be quite hard if they just spammed witches so yeah i'm glad they didn't do that because zombie villages not zombie villages baby zombies sorry baby zombies are a pretty good enemy they are fast they attack fast but they're not too hard since they have low hp oh we have illagers of course we have illagers uh i think the only levels which don't have illagers in all of minecraft dungeons are the dlc levels specifically the jungle awakens dlc levels i think uh cause yeah i don't think they have the uh illagers in them i don't think you'll find a single illager in the jungle awakens dlc which is pretty cool uh i actually played two of the jungle awakens dlc levels so if you want to go check out those videos on my channel uh i'll link them in the description the jungle awakens one but yeah i did play two of them and i noticed that there were no illagers we got two apples at the same time that gives us regeneration and more regeneration wow we are getting so much regeneration it feels like we are immortal i don't think we can die seriously oh and we got an evocation robe i already have a good speed run evocation robe which is what i use it's an upgrading right now and this one is all right so i really don't think i need it so i'm gonna salvage it anyways let's quickly take out all of those mobs grab this shadow brew and continue on with our adventure to take out all of the brews oh i see one right over there let's destroy it boom gone and we got some emeralds which is pretty nice oh and i'm getting surrounded by mobs oh wait there's another one here i didn't even see that nice all right we just have two more left which is great because since we have two more left we can just quickly take this one out and we can follow the arrow to get the next one destroy that and we seem to have taken out the way of like the all the brews because it seems as if that we have taken out you know the tools that the witches use to make their potions the the cauldrons the brews find the cauldron now if you guys don't know there is an epic crazy boss at the end of this uh, level it is it is very crazy it's huge it it just has a lot of attacks it's dangerous it summons fire it's just epic and yeah you'll be so excited when you see it i'm not going to spoil anything but i have done this level hundred not hundreds of times obviously but i've done this level tens of times so i know what's near the end of the level so it's just so epic and so crazy I am sure all of you will love it if you haven't already played the level which is because if you have already played the level then that's amazing then you know exactly what I'm talking about you know the hard, like how hard the boss is and the sheer epicness of the boss anyways let's take out these witches because we are currently in a cave which we just entered we took out some bosses and some other stuff but yeah we are currently in a cave uh oh by the way there's a secret level connected up to this uh, level it's called soggy cave you can find it in this level um and i if you guys want it in the comments below i will start another minecraft dungeon series uh, of course after we have completed our uh, one of our series uh in minecraft dungeons one of our series uh of like the dlcs or the mainland uh, after that i can do a um, series about com uh, completing every single secret level which would be pretty interesting because secret levels are very fun to play they have you know a mystery aspect to them uh well every secret level in the mainland because i'll already be covering all the secret levels for the dlcs 
in my all DLC level series so no need to do that again and again but yeah if you guys want it then please tell me in the comments I'll definitely do it anyways we have enchanted wish v wishes okay we have enchanted witches with l rush on them I was gonna say luck something I can't speak today I don't know why witches are wishes and rush is luck okay sure 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 it may as well be uh, but anyways oh enchanted I was gonna say anyways let's follow the arrow but I don't think these slimes want me to do that so we are gonna grab this strength potion and hopefully that poke chop and that apple and completely obliterate these swamps out of existence because if they're gonna stop us from getting to the boss they are going to have to go because I really want to get to the boss to show you guys how epic it is I keep saying the same thing again and again about how epic the boss is uh, I, I I was going the wrong way I'm supposed to follow the arrow which is taking us this way up here how do I get up there I have no clue uh, even though as I said earlier I have played this level tens of times I kind of don't play it often I only play it in case I need like uh, a whirlwind axe or something and even that I can just play the secret soggy cave level to grind it out so I don't really play this level often so I don't remember the exact pathways and the exact everything so in case I get lost I'm sorry I'm trying to stay on pathway uh, on the path on the beaten path so yeah if I do get lost I'm extremely sorry uh, I'm not gonna try to waste any time I'll just cut that part out and skip to the part when I get back to the trail anyways wow these enchanted mobs are powerful and I'm taking way way too much damage I should probably activate my iron hide amulet which will give me a pretty good damage reduction but I'll do that when I'm fighting uh, this raid captain yes all right activated activated and with the death cap mushroom and the iron hide amulet we are doing so much damage and our iron hide amulet and death cap mushroom will be activated again because I have cooled down on my ammo the enchantment cooldown which reduces my artifact cooldown by uh, 40 not 48 percent 38 percent I'm pretty sure on max level uh, and I have I don't want to die uh, okay I have that enchantment so I can quickly use my okay I almost died there I can quickly use my uh, things I can quickly use my artifacts this is really not amazing this mystery armor so i'm gonna salvage it oh and i got a double axe with some all right enchantments so it's pretty fine uh all right everybody we have reached the exit let's go out of this cave after that long long fight law lo after that long long battle and let's continue following the arrow and fight even more enchanted mobs oh my god soggy swamp has way way too many enchanted mobs i guess it makes sense i mean the witches have probably enchanted the local mobs to make it harder for any player to get to their magnificent grand creation grand i can't speak today grand creation which is the corrupted cauldron up here it says cauldron find the cauldron so yeah strength potion i love strength potions they're my favorite potion uh, so amazing you do like triple the damage or something I don't know how much extra damage you do but you do a lot of extra and enchanted spiders how many enchanted mobs are we gonna get at least we have strength so we can quickly efficiently and easily take them out but since they're spiders you know they're gonna trap us in their webs and it's gonna be annoying and I am lost I think I messed up I think I'm supposed to go no I am supposed to go this way I am lost uh, oh by the way guys anytime you get lost in a level you can press the M key on your keyboard to open the map and now I know exactly where I need to go which is this way so let's keep heading forward fight this uh, baby zombie I was gonna say zombie villager again like I did at the start of the level I don't know what's up today but I'm just not saying proper English I guess okay anyways wow okay emeralds that's good uh, my previous renegade armor which I was using earlier had prospector on it since I was running dangerously low on emeralds 
and we got another strength potion i didn't even see that i i like attacked those mobs and i was like wait why am i doing so much damage well that's because i got another strength potion and i'm not paying attention i'm actually paying attention on commentating on the video not actually on what i'm getting which i should be concentrating on since you know i should be concentrating on the game that i'm actually playing so that i don't die and you know ruin the entire video anyways uh more zombies there are a lot of zombies and very few villagers like we got a few villagers at the start but oh oh we made it to the uh the soggy cave thing I i'll just show you there's like this quick secret thing if we go through this door and we go through this if you like find a secret pathway you can come here press this button and it will open this door and you'll get some loot and stuff uh it's super cool i'll make a video about it if you guys want just say it in the comments below just comment down below if you want me to make a video on how to unlock the soggy cave like the secret thing in a uh, soggy swamp and guess what we got another mercenary armor what does it have anything good 50 percent faster roll 50 percent artifact damage okay it's it's not amazing uh yeah no i'm gonna just salvage it it's not great and we got chest we got a chest sorry we got a chest with some emeralds i guess i don't think we got anything from that Ooh, enchanted Ooh, okay i almost died i don't know why i like shrieked but okay uh thankfully i have final shout so you know yeah you, they, they, you guys can't really touch me and the final shout is the best enchantment for armors i mean god it's so amazing you literally can't die if you have final shout because if you have final shout and this thing the uh, i clicked it anyways if you have oh wait we are at the boss any anyway, i'll talk about it later this is the boss this is the corrupted cauldron and it's gonna start summoning enemies so before it does that we are gonna rush in and we are just gonna you know start attacking it like crazy and now we are gonna use our bow boom what wait what uh, 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 uh. what just happened e excuse me what i had dynamo 20 and i had overcharge continue to hold the attack button to double triple or quadru uh what you know like for the entire video i have been hyping up that hey the boss is epic and and the boss is cool and like i charge i like i overcharge multi charge my bow and just one shot what oh my god okay we got anyways we got moon daggers with stuff i i really don't like it i'm just going to salvage it i am sh still in shock at what just happened I like for the literally for the entire video for this entire level I've been like guys the boss is so epic oh my god you guys don't even know if you have played the level you would know but it's so and then I just come there in one shot like I, I am a bit I like I am a higher power level than what I should be for this level but one shotting okay I'm obsessing over one shotting the boss a little bit too much we have to continue on with the next level so anyways let's go through the door go back home the Arch Illager's potion supply is no more, and it'll be a long time before the witches recover from this blow. Yeah. Well done. Witches, you guys are not going to recover from what I just did to you today. I destroyed your boss in literally, well, not one shot, a few shots with my axe and stuff, but basically one shot, right? Yeah. What do we have here? Soul healer? Mm, no. No. It's not amazing. Uh, I'll check my blacksmith later. Uh, I have some speedrunning gear and uh, some other stuff like that. Anyways, now that we have completed Soggy Swamp, we are going to head straight on to Cacti Canyon uh, on Apocalypse Plus 18? No. Apocalypse Plus 16. Yes. Not not 15 because, yeah, no. Uh, over here, the gear drops are Gauntlets, Cutlass, Trick bow, short bow, long bow, crossbow, heavy crossbow, champion's armor, mercenary armor, spelunk armor, and the artifacts are windhorn, wonderful wheat, corrupted beacon, 
totem of shielding and the soul lantern now let's check out the story lost in a sea of sand those who which wish oh god those who wish to reach the desert have to traverse the winding paths and trails of the cacti canyon a complex network of tunnels chasms and caves have led the most level-headed adventurers astray those who wish to survive the sandy labyrinth must rely on their wits must rely on our wits or must rely on a magical golden arrow that always points us in the right direction let's begin traveling to cacti canyon The arch illager seeks to summon armies of the undead using a power that rests deep within an ancient and forgotten desert temple. Finding the temple, however, is an adventure in its own right, for the entrance lies hidden somewhere in this canyon, a sprawling maze of malevolent mobs and lost secrets. All right. That was an epic intro. Now by the way in this level if you uh, if you got stuck in this level on like how to get past the start like just the start because if i like press my space bar to roll i can't i literally can't roll like i'm trying what you have to do is you know the golden pointer just left click this thing and it will rise and this platform will rise and then you can walk on over to the other side anyways We have some pillagers and a creeper just basic things you know nothing too great nothing too amazing just the normal pillagers but I wonder what I I was going to say I wonder what they're doing in the Cacti Canyon Cac Canyon okay in the Cacti Canyon uh, when I remembered the introduction the cut scene to the level which said that they are looking for the danger danger I literally cannot speak today They're looking for the ancient desert temple to raise armies of the undead which is what I am going to stop them from doing because if they do that obviously literally every single villager is going to be zombified and then there there'll just be an army of zombified okay enchanted stuff yeah there'll just be an army of zombified villagers in the overworld which I seriously don't want to fight just just the next dlc uh zombified villager dlc uh yeah no not happening not today let's heal up and let's defeat these enchanted mobs really quickly protection and regeneration the worst combination to have on an enchanted mob i mean seriously champion's armor let's see what we got on this uh final shot is pretty good but it's not unique and if it's your not unique i'm salvaging it because yeah no I don't like using non-unique items since usually the unique versions are better and I'm fine with grinding for the unique versions like I literally gr- grind it for the gilded version of this mercenary armor so I'm definitely fine grinding for the uh uniques of the items of all the items anyways the golden marker uh with a stre- oh strength potion let's go all right golden what was that did you guys see that random beams of light oh look oh okay they're here you yeah, look i have no idea what that is wait is this like a new uh, like like mob wait what there's no way i have done this level like tens of times what i am confused what w- guys if you guys know what that was please tell me because i have done this level so many times and i have no okay okay chill chill out chill out chill out we got a guardian bow it's unique and it's 200 it's level 200 wow okay supercharged arrows uh how much damage okay my power bow still does more damage but it also has cooldown shot uh okay it's all right i'm not going to salvage this but i am going to keep it uh anyways now that we have got in the chest and the arrows we are literally just going to sneak past all of these mobs oh okay creeper uh anyways yeah all okay okay uh i see that my gear is just a tiny bit under leveled for this level 
since you know this is literally level 200 gear and i am here rocking level what 195 yeah no my gear is definitely under level for this one. Oh, okay uh yes shockwave oh god explosion what i died okay this is this is as i as i was saying my gear is way too under level so yeah i was trying to like shockwave and attack my enemies but that didn't work since you decided that it would be funny to you know kill me so yeah no i killed you now anyways uh let's continue following the arrow because yeah that was stupid i should have just rolled away or walked away or should have been careful because yeah i just died that was a useless death over there uh that death could have been used for the boss actually wait no there is no boss for this level oh thank god i, I yeah yay there is no boss nice okay great so we don't have to worry about wait no there is a mini boss wait, what that that tnt literally just disobeyed the laws of gravity that that tnt right there does not care about physics okay yeah that tnt is like the enemy of every single physician wait what no scientist yeah every single physics teacher ha <laughs> just don't doesn't care about gravity or anything just not not cares about nothing just destruction Arrows, yay! Uh, sheep's also yay. Beacons, yay. I'm just saying yay for random things. Oh, also, uh, if you're wondering what's like the like this golden ring around me, I have an enchantment called uh, Guarding Strike, where every time I kill a mob, I get a golden ring around me, which like increases my defense by fifty percent. Like reduces mob damage by fifty percent. So if you're wondering why, um, I'm taking way less damage than i should be taking uh no i'm not cheating that's just one of my enchantments uh in case any of you guys are gonna be like in the comments like uh astro is cheating he he's he's taking 50 percent less damage this the, the if if this if this creeper is five blocks away from him then he should take 0.2 percent of his health but he took 0.5 i don't know okay but yeah it's not cheating it's in the game i grind it for the enchantments uh well actually i didn't grind for the enchantments uh this axe has been gifted to me by my good friend shift storms gaming he also has a youtube channel he makes minecraft and minecraft dungeons content just like me uh we have he has joined me in uh some of my videos a few times in my hypixel videos and i have joined him in some of his videos too so if you haven't already uh checked out his channel you should go check it out link in the description below he makes amazing content anyways we have activated all of the beacons and the door has opened which is going to lead us into uh, a mini boss i'm pretty sure i am 90 percent sure that the 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 emeralds just okay uh i'm 90 percent sure that there's gonna be a uh, boss no, a mini boss, not a boss. Yeah, because this level doesn't have a boss. Oh yeah, this skull thing, I think. Yeah, yeah, redstone golem, mini boss. Nice, I knew it. All right, I'm never wrong ever. I yeah, no, I could be wrong definitely. Uh, okay, this redstone golem just got way more tankier. Why? Because we are playing on a higher apocalypse difficulty now. Because I literally just. What was that? Oh. Mm, I don't want to die no what i almost died there twice what oh no okay i should probably upgrade my gear after i you know complete this level because okay nope okay okay chill 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 everybody come on it's fine it's completely fine champion's armor it's not unique i'm gonna salvage it i'm not even gonna look at the enchants i'm still in shock from almost dying twice okay i'm fine now oh and we picked up a crossbow nice uh faster projectiles and not good enchants salvage if you think that i'm salvaging a lot of things uh i'm actually not i barely salvage anything but you know when something is like just 
Okay. How am I taking so much damage? I'm used to being overpowered. Because, you know, yeah, I'm usually overpowered. Like, my gear, my enchantments are very overpowered. But I should probably use the blacksmith. Thankfully, I have a backup set of gear in case, you know, exactly this thing happens where uh, I unlock a new apocalypse difficulty, I'm underleveled, and I need to upgrade my gear, so I won't be completely defenseless. Uh, yeah. <gasps> loot pig! Loot pig! Oh, loot pig! It's a loot pig! I almost died there! Died there! La 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 la! Why am I singing? I don't know. Imagine Eli Beatmaker remixes this. There's no way. I was earlier on today, I was just on YouTube vibing and I was just watching like Eli Beatmaker Green remixes. Uh, oh, also, uh, Green is another YouTube. I'm just promoting other YouTubers. Anyways, Green is another YouTuber and he is the best YouTuber in the world. Okay, maybe, yeah, maybe you like another YouTuber, but for me, he is the best YouTuber, and he is the person who inspired me to make this channel. So, go check him out. He makes Minecraft content. He is on Hermitcraft. Uh, you probably know Green, actually. You probably know him, since he's on Hermitcraft. But, yeah, he also makes Minecraft content. Go check him out. Uh, his channel will be in the description, too. Anyways, uh, we have some... Okay. We have some Skeleboys. Skeletons, skeleton humans. Okay, I don't know. Uh, anyways, let's take this. Uh, how many times have I said anyways in this video? I don't know. Probably like two hundred something times. I've said anyways. The word anyways so many times in this video. Also, there should be another mini boss if I'm not wrong. After this, like key part, key area. Like, uh, like, we have to find a key here, I'm pretty sure. Creeper, don't kill me. I beg you, please. Seriously, don't kill me. I don't want to die. Uh, any... I was going to say anyways again, but I think I've already said it way too many times. So, we have to get that golden key to open this door. So, to open, to get the golden key, we have to open this blue door. To open the blue door, we have to get a blue key. So we have to get a lot of keys to open a lot of doors to do a lot of things. Okay, uh, let's quickly, swiftly take out all of these mobs. Quickly and swiftly and efficiently take out all of these mobs to clear a pathway so that we can easily and efficiently grab the key, which is right over... The uh, you just slammed the door on me. Now, as revenge, I'm gonna take out literally all of your minions without breaking a sweat. Okay, maybe I'm gonna... Yeah, okay, maybe this might be a bit harder than I thought. Because, you know, higher apocalypse difficulty, low level gear, not overpowered. Anyways, let's quickly take these guys out. Boom! And the key is open. Now we have to find the golden key. I already know where the golden key is since I showed it to you. So let's grab this and go 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 just keep going oh by the way if you didn't know uh if you have a key and you take any damage the key will like the key will fall and the key will start running away from you so you always have to be careful when you have a key since you know if you take any damage absolutely any damage even a tick of damage gone the key is just gonna go back to his original place also is the key genderless because i i did say the key will go back to his place but it might be a she who knows uh why are my emeralds just flying everywhere this doesn't happen usually uh anyways i said anyways again this okay i i like seriously i'm gonna say anyways in this episode so 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 many times also, we have Dynamo 20 ready, even though there's not a boss. Because imagine we one-shot the boss on Apocalypse Plus 16. That would be literally the most epic thing ever. Golden Key, you are mine. And I am going to take you all the way over to the door. Okay, 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 okay. Stop taking damage, stop taking damage, stop taking damage. Please, I need the key. Great. 
we are gonna climb this short hill across the cacti uh literally i was like playing uh stuff i was playing board games with a friend and literally my friend was like no the pl like we started a conversation about something i don't know how it got there but my friend is like the 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 way to say the plural of octopus is octopuses and i was i was just like what like the, no that's not how you say that's not the plural of octopi the plural okay the pru the plural of octopus is octopi yes oh i have a great idea shadow brew i wasted it i wasted the shadow brew i had like an entire plan and everything to take out these uh enchanted levitation shot uh guys who are okay this is just not fun anymore okay here's what here's what i am going to do i'm going to activate literally if i'm going to activate literally every single one of my artifacts and i'm and i'm going to rush in and take out all of these guys and until they're all gone and and they're all dead and Let's just walk past. This is my last chance. If I fail, no, no, I can't. I, I can't fail. I literally can't. No. I, I hate when. I just need to upgrade my gear. Okay. Yeah. No. I'm a good Minecraft player. I know how to play the game. I should probably be dodging like its attacks and like I could probably defeat it. But I'm impatient, so I'm not gonna do that. This is our last chance, so we have to play this extra safe that's why we are going to rush into a horde of mobs which are enchanted and deal extra damage yeah my definition of safe is way way different than the actual definition of safe which is probably not a good thing seeing as i'm a youtuber who plays games in which you're not supposed to die so yeah probably not a good thing anyways we should be coming up near the end now yes i was right that's where the end is but we just have to take out this ambush right over here so go 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 no 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 oh no 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 i almost died crikey uh you know usually i say cry the word crikey a lot but this today in this episode i've just been saying the word anyway a lot anyway anyway let's take out all of these mobs yeah i you know what yeah anyway it's just my favorite word now yeah okay let's ooh strength potion what was that sound ooh, okay sure strength potion extra damage let's go vindicator gone armored vindicator gone more mobs kind of gone level up yes okay yeah we're level what level are we level 136 nice uh my goal is to reach level 200 by the end of this month i probably can do it right or am i setting my expectations too high i'm probably setting my yeah i I'm, i probably can't do it i i do play a lot of minecraft dungeons but i don't think i play ah, you found the ancient desert temple who knows what truths and treasures await you inside i don't think i play enough uh to you know what you call it yeah to get to level 200 anyways chest what do we get soul lantern i'm gonna salvage it because i really don't use this item this artifact so yeah anyways i'm gonna say anyways again yeah anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this episode today we did the soggy swamp level and the the, the the cacti i was gonna say there's a temple but the cacti canyon level and next time we will be doing oh i was not i was not i didn't oh claim reward i guess uh all right i did not want to open that i wanted to open this 
next time we are gonna do so we have done creeper words pumpkin pasture soggy swamp and cacti canyon so next time we are gonna do redstone mines and desert temple so yeah uh, like and subscribe to green his channel will be in the description below as i said earlier great youtuber amazing person i'll see you in the next video bye